guests can be seen every Tuesday night at the New York Distilling Company in Williamsburg. The rest of the week, he stays indoors. Please welcome the very funny Charles Gould. Thank you. Um, my therapist is out of town. He comes back in two weeks, so please laugh. <laughs> He would actually really like that joke uh, because I assessed the situation and then I asked for what I wanted. <laughs> I served myself. That's something we've been working on. That's what I did there, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I, actually, actually, you know what? No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, my last girlfriend won our breakup. <laughs> if you guys are thinking Charles breakups aren't a thing you can win or lose, that's true, but also grow up. <laughs> this is how you win a breakup. You move on first, that's like 80 points. <laughs> you start dating someone new, that's like 500 points. <laughs> And then you post pictures of you and that new person getting cocktails at the bar in the standard hotel. And it's game over, you win, Kate. <laughs> I, uh, I was looking at my ex-girlfriend's Instagram profile the other day, which, by the way, is how you lose a breakup. <laughs> And I don't even know why I do that. I don't know if anyone here has ever social media stalked an ex, but it never helps. <laughs> like, I've never walked away from it and been like, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so she's at the Standard Hotel with the new guy. Tag the Standard Hotel, tag the new guy. I start looking at the new guy's profile, and everything in my body is telling me to hate him. Everything is saying, hate this man but he had an awesome summer. <laughs> he killed it this summer, and I can't take that away from the guy. <laughs> he had one of those really cool shaved on the side, long on top haircuts. He wore little circle sunglasses. He went to the beach twice. <laughs> he went kayaking with his friend Mark. Uh, I started looking at Mark's profile. <laughs> Mark, I couldn't really get on board with. He was uh, a little too bro -y for me. Uh, but he did take time out 27 weeks ago to go to his sister's graduation. <laughs> Allow me now to say congratulations, Christina! <laughs> yeah. she, uh, she graduated from the University of Minnesota with a degree in English uh, with her friend Margaret. I started looking at Margaret's profile. <laughs> If there's anything I can tell you about Margaret, it's that she loves to party and she loves her dog. <laughs> I started looking at Margaret's dog's profile. <laughs> and then I accidentally liked one of Margaret's dog's photos. And I was like, oh no, are they gonna trace this all the way back to me? <laughs> so I unliked it. But then I remembered that if you like something and you unlike it, they can see that you liked it and you unliked it. So I decided I'm just gonna like it. Because if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out like a G. <laughs> and then I realized I'd been sitting on the toilet for two hours. <laughs> uh, that's it for me, guys. Thank you. That's how G's do it. <laughs> that was very funny. The Jimmy Kimmel Live Concert Series is presented by Mercedes Benz. The best or nothing.